Hello, and welcome to the White House. With this season's theme, A Timeless Tradition, the decorations throughout the White House inspire visitors to celebrate long-held traditions while also creating new memories. The holiday decor was executed by 89 volunteers from across the country. Let's go inside. Welcome to the White House. We're the 2015 holiday volunteers. Enjoy the tour. An administrative tradition, the East Landing customarily honors the courageous men and women of our armed forces. The names on these ornaments pay tribute to those heroes who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. Families of Gold Star service members are invited to honor their loved ones by hanging special Gold Star ornaments here on the tree. To learn more about how to support our troops, veterans, military families, and Gold Star families, visit joiningforces.gov. Each of the 56 states and territories that make up the United States is represented with a snowflake dangling from the ceiling in the East Colonnade. Starting a new tradition last season, Mrs. Obama asked public school students from Washington, D.C. to share their dreams for the future in the East Colonnade. This year, those goals are featured on the handcrafted snowflakes. The wintry stroll continues through the East Colonnade and into the East Garden Room, a space dedicated to the White House's current furry inhabitants, Bo and Sonny. Hey, there they are now. While dreams of milk bones and tennis balls dance in their heads, the first family's Portuguese water dogs are here to help celebrate the season. From classic works of fiction to first-hand accounts of important moments in our nation's history, the books in the White House Library, over 2,700 in total, surround the room and fill the walls. Designed and decorated by Carol Lim and Humberto Leon of Opening Ceremony and Kenzo, this room features a holiday forest of novels and manuscripts and is trimmed with pages of text that celebrate our American story. Gilded silver illuminates portraits of first ladies in the Vermeer Room, designed and decorated by Duro Olawu. Two Christmas trees dressed in vintage fabric create a vibrant image of the holiday season. The festive displays, warm and inviting, emulate hospitality shown by First Ladies throughout history. The China Room's holiday decor, designed and decorated by Carolina Herrera, is inspired by the Obama family's China service. Chosen by First Lady Michelle Obama, this China pattern features a bright Kailua blue, evoking the waters off the coast of the President's home state of Hawaii. Four grand trees adorned with ornate decorations help enliven the largest room in the White House. A long-standing holiday tradition, the White House creche, graces this room. The nativity scene made of terracotta and intricately carved wood was fashioned in Naples, Italy in the 18th century. Donated to the White House in the 1960s, this piece has sat in the East Room for the holidays for more than 45 years, spanning nine administrations. Inspired by friends flocking together to celebrate the holidays, garlands of sparkling gems and teal ornaments plumed with peacock feathers deck the trees and mantle in the green room. This room, with walls covered by emerald silk, has played host to private dinners and teas throughout the years. Inside this oval room, one of four in the White House, the official White House Christmas tree, a Fraser fir from Bustard's Christmas Tree Farm in Lansdale, Pennsylvania, stands 18 feet one inch tall from trunk to tip. Dedicated to our nation's service members, veterans, and their families, it is ornamented with holiday messages of hope for our troops and patriotic symbols of red, white, and blue. To complement its vibrant ruby hue, the Red Room customarily glistens with cranberries during the holidays. The two Christmas trees in the windows emit a warm crimson glow as cranberry garlands, apples, and pomegranates decorate their branches. Bright red cardinals and crisp golden oak leaves embody the cheerful spirit of the season and accentuate the wintry green garland that drapes across the mantle. President and Mrs. John Adams hosted the first White House Christmas party in December of 1800. And while holiday celebrations were not grand state affairs, they became family-oriented traditions that promoted good cheer amongst children and adults alike. The Kennedy administration represented a new generation and accordingly introduced a livelier form of entertaining. Guests mingled while sharing traditional libations in the state dining room, and the People's House emerged as a symbol of national pride. The White House executive pastry chef, Susan Morrison, is shown here with the annual White House Gingerbread House, a staple of the holidays for the past half century. During the holidays, beneath the gaze of President's past and surrounded by the history of our great nation, friends and fellow Americans fill the White House with laughter and joy. 
Thanks for coming by the White House, and happy holidays. Happy holidays! From the people's house to your house.